What's happening, folks? Cam Blair Wiggins here from Addict to Fishing with uh, AF Live number two. Sorry, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. If you're if you're hearing us over there on Google Plus site, jump over to our YouTube channel and uh, you should be able to get us just fine. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about mirror lures, but first off, I want to say hey to South Texas. What a welcome you guys gave me out there. I want to say thank you the the Dick's Grand opening out there. You guys were awesome. I can't wait to come back out there and fish South Bay and catch some of those snook outside of Florida. Um, just somewhere else in the United States where you can go catch snook and actually go target them. But uh, so, hey, guys. First off, I'm going to talk about a lure that uh, that I that I used a lot when I was a kid. It was mirror lures. It's a, this is the TT series, it's a little bit bigger, but the 52M18 series was a, was a lure that I used as a kid um, extensively because it imitated a finger mullet, and that was our biggest uh, bait fish around growing up in the Madana River was finger mullet, and it imitated them perfect, and I remember we used to go out in the middle of the wintertime, it was like you know, 30 degrees outside, you can't even hardly tie knots, it was, so, it was so cold, but we'd take those mirror lures and just bounce them on the bottom, Almost the same technique, I, or I should I say the exact type of same technique that I do today with uh, the Miradines or even the 52M18 again. But uh, just short little tiny twitches, and I've said it before, if you see me in seminars, all you're trying to do is make that bait look like an injured minnow. If you have an aquarium, uh, you know, you're going to have a fish that's going to die in there. Uh, just watch what he does and, and try to imitate the bait that's out there. Start with the top dog. Start off with the top dog where... Uh, <clears throat> which is a great big bait if, if you're targeting nothing but big trout uh big trout like to eat once or twice a week so if you want to just target big trout i would say target them with the top dog uh you know bright colors work well i always love the 18 color which is the which is the green back right here if you can see that color right there um it just looks more natural like a fish uh out in texas they like to throw pink ones uh they work well I, they, they're just looking up at the profile. It kind of all depends on the water color, uh, if you have clouds, whatnot, that, that sort of thing. <clears throat> uh, if you want to downsize a little bit, they got the Top Dog Junior. This one here is a great color um, that, that I kind of came up with uh, for a mirror lure. Um, it's kind of like the Halloween color, but it's got a green back instead of a, a black back. I just I love that green color. Um, Coming up on the first segment, we're going to show you. We're with Tyler Vollmer. And uh, I started out real early in the morning. Started started out real early. Live TV, you love it. Um, started out real early in the morning. I was throwing the top dog. We were going for the big trout. And one thing with that top dog, too, you can load your rod up. And, I mean, cast it a good 60, 70 yards if you need to at times. And the more your bait's in the water, the more chances of getting a hit. Uh, you'll see in this first clip it's nice and slick so I'm working the top dog and I'm not working it really that hard but every once in a while I'm giving it a little bit of a slap just to kind of break up the the monotony of the the rhythm of the of the bait and I always try to keep a good rhythm going so here's with Tyler Vollmer early in the morning on the uh, Space Coast home waters there's a trout there we go come on Come on, little red fish. There he is, there baby. Nice fish. That's, that sounded like a trout. <laughs> kind of looks like a trout. Might be that targeted trout we've been trying for, Tyler. That was a big smack. Blake. That was a huge oh. smack. That's weird when you can't tell if it's a red fish or a trout. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to see a little color on it, too. Color looking yeah, nice trout, nice, too. Nice, beautiful trout. Welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. We are fishing once again in my backyard here on the Space Coast. We got Captain Tyler Vollmer with us, and this place is known for what we got on the end of the line right here. Absolutely monster gator trout. There you go. Look at that fish. That right there is today's targeted species on Addictive Fishing with Captain Tyler Vollmer. <laughs> nice that fish, boy. Nice. Unbelievable, man. Beautiful fish. You pop that trocar out of there. I think you got him. He's right in the corner. That was a smack, wasn't it? That was a hell of a smack, man. I've never, you know, like you said, whenever that, you don't know the difference between a redfish and a trout. <laughs> That's got when it. you know you got big trout yeah. up here. There All they go. gotta do is absolutely just look at that hook and they get hooked. Is that a beautiful trout, folks, or what? Size you think he goes, Blair, about 28? 
Mm, no, he ain't that big. 27, 28? Not bad, man. Not bad. He's a good one. <laughs> I'll take him all He's day long. One. I'll take him bigger than that, too. <laughs> I tell you, the, the conditions that morning, uh, I can remember it like it was yesterday because when we got the cameras out, it's not always like that, trust me. <laughs> but uh, this next segment coming up, you'll see the conditions changed on us a little bit. So what I was doing was working the bait a little bit harder, maybe a little bit, just changing up, trying to make as much noise because as the water gets ripply out there, what happens is the bait fish has that ambient noise of the ripples and the water going around their ears. They can't hear it as well. So if you're making a lot of noise uh, with that bait, you got to, I'm sorry, you got to be making a lot of noise with that bait so that the predator fish can hear it. And uh, a lot of times when you have a little ripple like that and you're making a lot of splashes, you're going to get hit a lot more. Um, so check this next segment out. It's a, just a little bit different technique of how I was working the top water rather than real slow kind of making it slap and look like it's spraying water out in front of it. And uh, it worked on another, another real nice trout. Oh, 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 come on, baby, come on. Bottle. There he is, brother. That's a good fish a there. Good fish. Oh, Stankus? Yeah. I think it's a redfish instead of a trout, though. <laughs> oh, damn. Nope, that's a trout, brother. Big trout. That would be the targeted species Look again. Look at the shoulders on him. He's putting oh, on that yeah. big weight. My favorite fish to catch. Everybody always wants to know what it is. This is it right here. Big, big sea trout. Yes, sir, that's a good one, Tyler. <laughs> Hopefully not the biggest one of the day, because we're going to show you some big Mosquito Lagoon trout. Love that top water, bro. Can we come down and get it for you, Blake? Yeah, All grab right. me if you would. Awesome. Awesome trout right there. Woo! One of those things uh, Mosquito right. Lagoon is well famous for, big trout like that. Good old yellow mouth. Cool beans. Look at that mouth. Let me see if I can get this hook out real yep. easy. I'm gonna let him go. Got him? Yep, yeah, got him. Good deal. After I show you that beautiful mosquito lagoon trout. Look at the belly on him. I think he's Woo! been eating all night. <laughs> he's been eating all night and absolutely love that top dog. Beautiful fish. Way to go, Tyler. Yeah, man. He's a nice trout there, bro. Ooh, yeah, there's bottom there, Trout. <laughs> All right, you guys are in uh, South Texas. That's what we got in Florida. I wish we tried and tried and tried Baffin Bay to, to get one of them big beauties out there. But, you know, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. We, uh, we had a great time out there fishing, though. Next, I want to talk about the uh, – oh, Sorry, we got next. We got some questions. We're going to take. Oh, well, let me let me before we get into the questions. Um, I've been throwing mirror lures a long time, and Eric Bachnick, who owns Mirror Lure, there has you know asked me what colors I'd like to have in mirror lures. I said that earlier, but uh, if you go to Dick's, you'll see the mirror lures right there on the rack, and they have this orange sticker on it right there. That's the Mogan series, and what's different about these is they have trocar hooks on them. And if you've ever used a trocar hook. We're going to be talking about that on the next live, but um, if you've ever <laughs> if you ever used a trocar hook, it's the it's the one I've put through my finger the easiest, and uh, in the Billy Henderson's arm too. So, um, just wanted to say that. But the Mogan series trocar hooks, they're the sharpest hooks out there. They come with great hooks on them, but uh, those trocars are something else. All right, wanna. Take a question. Yeah, what we're gonna question? take we're gonna take a question, and uh, first question we got up is, what's my terminal knot that I like to use? And basically, the terminal knot is the knot that goes onto the end of your into your lure right there. I use what they call a Merle Chandler Canoe Man knot. Um, it's a, it's a knot that you can come by at any seminar I'm at. Any if you ever see me, just say, hey, show me the knot. But it's it's a bowling knot. And it, what it does, it keeps the, the tag end pointing back towards the bait so it doesn't pick up any, uh, any trash there in, in the water. But it's just a Merle Chandler Canoe Man knot. Simple, simple knot to tie. Another question? Want to 
move on to the mirror mullet. Jump on the mirror mullet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still getting over that South Texas dry air out there. Guess y'all ain't dry right now. But uh, fishing with uh, Kevin Mahiloff down in the Everglades, and he was throwing the mirror mullet, just a just a bait that you can work at top water, you can work it just subsurface, and it's got a little bit of a rattle to it. Work it around, and the snook absolutely love it. So let's take a look at uh, how Mahiloff down there was working his mirror mullet, and uh, watch this snook he gets. <laughs> He's a believer in mirror lures now. Come on out, baby. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. That's a big snook, Blair. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go to the back of the boat. Go to the back of the boat. Come on, baby. You're going to come to me, Papa. Oh my He's goodness. That's a big nice snook. He's man. the garbage man. He definitely nice garbage snook. that one. <laughs> Just annihilated that plug. Pa -pow. I'll tell Trolley Moore you're off the bank. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I don't know if there's any fish on this bank, but we'll give it a shot. Nice. Oh, oh that hole, be careful. The hole plugs down in there. Nice. Dang. Oh, man. Did he did he want that mirror mullet or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need your pliers, buddy. Wow. you what brother after those smaller ones this morning that one right there is definitely what we came to the Everglades for that's what everybody comes to the Everglades for nice isn't work. It? that was a great fish man man what a beauty let's let him go I'm so comfortable down here God, you can't even see him in the water and he's only he's in the water <laughs> Sucking on your thumb. Sucking on my thumb. All right, mirror lure is always coming out with something new, but uh, a lot of times it's it's the same baits with a little bit different uh, different patterns or anything to them. Like this one here is the Miradine, which absolutely absolutely love that bait right there it's uh it looks like any bait out there it's got the spot like a scaled sardine otherwise known as a greenie a white bait uh ly all kinds of names for them but you get this bait right here in the water and you twitch it just right you can work it you know through the water real quick make it look like a menhaden a pogey whatever you want to call them or you can twitch it and make it look like a threadfin herring it just it looks like the bait that they're eating out there at the time i always say try to match the hatch imitate the bait out there uh, they come in four different sizes. They have a little tiny mini, um, and then they step up from there all the way to the Miradine XL, which absolutely love throwing the XL. You can throw it a country mile, uh, and when you twitch it just right in clear water, you can see it for a, a mile out there just flashing. It looks just like um, looks just like a greenie out there. That, you know, Tampa Bay and the, a lot of the areas around, the guys are, are using greenies and they chum with them and you bang them off the side of the deck or the boat or whatever and they sit there and twitch around. Like I say, you want to imitate a bait that's dying. That's all you're trying to fool the fish with the brain about that big right there. So that's all you're trying to do is imitate a bait dying. Um, 